selling energy into the grid? Is it feasible and what can be done in the interim? In recent developments, owners of buildings and houses will soon be able to sell power from rooftop solar panels back into the grid. What does this mean for companies and individuals and how do they go about selling power into the grid? Certain municipalities have already started the process of entering into wheeling agreements, in other words, buying power from independent power producers. Unfortunately, however, the high feed-in tariffs make it financially unfeasible for the majority of property owners to install systems that have the capability of selling back into the grid. However, one does not necessarily need to feed into the grid immediately in order to benefit from reduced cost in energy prices, which have escalated by over 300% in the last decade. Property owners, especially property owners who use a significant amount of power, have many options available to reduce their energy consumption. One such option, which has become very popular amongst property developers, is to establish a separate entity, let's call it PowerCo, which produces its own energy to sell to the property owner, the OPCO. In terms of a power purchase agreement, this enables PowerCo to benefit from a hugely discounted ESCOM tariff and pass this benefit to third parties, like OPCO, as it chooses. There are various different ways of structuring this depending on a number of factors, including the ability to either self-finance or to raise finance from a third party. The current tariff charge to the OPCO, the amount of power that the PowerCo wishes to generate, and the different parties to the system. Caveat is well versed in structuring these highly beneficial transactions for our clients, and we recommend that even if the regulations are not quite in place in order to sell back into the grid, without risk and significant financial input, it may still be worthwhile to install solar systems and sell energy through a power purchase agreement to reduce one's own energy costs and benefit from the difference between ESCOM's tariff and the cost of producing solar power. As solar systems are easily scalable, once these systems are installed, it should be a simple process to feed back into the grid once the regulations become clearer and it is financially viable to do so.